hello guys you're welcome to my channel my name is obapa magi and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for always being there for me so if you are new here too please i'm so grateful and if you haven't subscribed to this channel please do me a favor by subscribing i want to say a happy ramadan to all my muslim family friends like everybody may god answer all your prayers and also strengthen you to end this ramadan in with peace and good health so today i'm going to talk as a christian being in a muslim home during ramadan so guys you all know that we are kadamis i'm also a kadama in dubai but i have been in saudi and also i'm working as a kadama in dubai so guys being a christian during ramadan in the arab country it's very tough especially when you are hungry it's very like it's hard to eat because they don't want to see you eating they don't want to see because you know they are hungry and sometimes when you, they see you eating they think you are tempting them or you are teasing them with their food some even some of the kids when they see you eating they started crying so it's very difficult it's better like you also fast with them or you will hide yourself to i mean eat so it's a kind of funny and also a tough time because some of them they don't want to sometimes when they see it and they get angry some also just make a fun of it okay but guys i when i work in uh saudi it, they are all muslim but in dubai the differences is that saudi is everybody is muslim but here my madam is also a christian so they kind of like they know you know like my madam is a christian before she married to a muslim man and they are not typical local like typical like arabians like arab people so it's it's cool for me it's cool for me and in saudi it's very difficult because and you know when they eat they sleep they sleep too like they sleep too long so if i feel like eating i just when i i wake up i have to eat when i'm hungry i'm hungry i have to eat before though everybody wake up when they wake up i can't eat okay when they wake up i can't eat unless i fast with them and also you know fasting you have to I, me if i'm fasting i don't want to take in anything but when i take in like water or something before they they wake up and i can't fast it's like it's something like if i feel like i'm fasting i feel like i'm not fasting and it's it makes you hungry it make you like hungry a lot like you feel too hungry then you are fasting when you are fasting you know that oh i'm fast it's not time for me to eat so i have to relax but you eating you have taken in something and you don't want to fast imagine how it feels so it's not easy being a christian in a muslim family guys it's not easy at all especially even here let me say in dubai it's it's nice it's fine for me because they know i'm a christian and in saudi they know i'm a christian but when you are fasting you feel like you are fasting the most painful part is like when you are fasting okay you feel like you are fasting and they are cooking you will tell them you inform them that you are fasting but guess what when you are cooking they know all of all of us are fasting but they'll tell you to test and see if there is salt you, you should try and see if it is soft it is soft like soft or like you know because she can when we are cooking my madam can test and see or you know to feel like if the salt is okay or it's soft enough for them to eat you and them are fasting because of you being a christian they will let you test and see and you spoil your fasting but if you are muslim they know that you are muslim so they will not they will not let you test and see that's also the difficult part and 
so it's better you eat because when you fast they're going to i mean <laughs> spoil it for you but it's kind of fun and also after the eat after the ramadan too we celebrate together they feel like we have all of you see when it's it's the eat when we finish the Ramadan, we celebrate together because they think we all fasted together. We all fast together. But when you are fasting too, they don't want to. They don't want you to fast because of the cooking, trying to see if everything is okay, see if the salt is okay, if the sugar is okay. It's very difficult for us, the Christian. But it's also nice to have this kind of experiences, like how it feels. And let me see, I forgot one thing to guys, you know, when in Saudi, okay, when in Saudi, when we, uh, when we, they wake up, when me, during Ramadan, normally I wake up like eight or nine, normally, but during Ramadan, I wake up at 12, I sleep at three o'clock in the midnight, in the morning, let me say in the morning, because three o'clock is also in the morning the next day, so sometimes you sleep at four, five, it depends when you finish your work. So, it's not easy. When they break the fast, like 6.30, 6.35, 6.40, they will eat to the next, let me say, at then, like, after they, they play their last mocks. I think it's 3 o'clock or 12 o'clock. I think 3 or so, yeah. I forgot the time. So, you when you wake up like 12 o'clock, you're not going to sleep till the next day. Maybe 6 o'clock or 5 or 4 before you will sleep. But here, I'm so, so lucky that when they break the fasting, it's normal like the normal days. When they break the fasting, we eat, we do everything. I clean, I finish everything. I go to bed. They will not wake me up again. Not like being like Saudi, I will stay to the next morning. You can't sleep, you can't rest. You work, bring gawa, bring shy, do this, do this, do this, okay? But here, they, they are, I, I told you, they are not those typical Arabs, okay? My madam is a Christian, then they marry, so they have that kind of vibe, that kind of Christian Muslim vibe. Okay, so when I wake up in the morning and I I I do my stuff, I wake up the normal days. I don't like I start work at seven. It's normal. I wake up at seven and I do my job, everything. So I after that and we break the fast, then I come to bed. They will not wake me up. When I wake up, before I go, they have done the, uh, they have eaten already, and I will just go and watch. So I think this place is very nice, and I'm loving it. It's been like, I've been here for four times Ramadan. It's cool. It's nice than Saudi. So guys, I wish all a happy Ramadan. And to the Kadamas, I know how it feels. I know how it is, how tough this is. May God strengthen you. May God, I mean, give you enough um, strength to conquer this this war because it's not easy. I've been in before. I've been there before for three good years. It's not easy. So I hope I wish you all the best. Okay. I wish you all the best. If you are sick, may God heal you. If you are not, if you are weak, may God strengthen you to overcome this thing because it's not easy. And to, I mean, congratulations to every Kadama because it's not easy. I wish, and you know, a lot of people will go back home after the Ramadan because when you are there and you want to go before the Ramadan, they will not allow you. So after the Ramadan, a lot of Kadamas will go home. So I wish you all the best, safe journey, and also may God be with you wherever you are, wherever you, wherever you are going and whatever you are doing. Thank you so much. Please, if you have watched to this end, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And also you can follow me on Instagram, Obapa Magi, and on Facebook, Obapa Magi's channel. Thank you so much. To meet on my next video. Shalom.